Okay, welcome to this tutorial on how to actually create text animations in Premiere Pro. I'm gonna go through two ways to do this. The first is using templates that others have created and then altering those templates. The second is creating an animation from scratch ourselves. Let's first start with the idea of templates. Now, templates are something that you can download from the internet that somebody else has created and depending on the parameters of that template, you might be able to customize it a bit to suit your project. Now, there's literally millions of templates out there. Most of them aren't free. Most of them you have to actually pay for. And the level of customization you get really depends on what the author of the template uh, envisaged. Um, so instead of going through all the different possibilities out there, I'm just going to recommend downloading this one template here called 21 Free Motion Graphics um, from Premium Beat. I'll give you the link. Um, and basically, as the title suggests, this particular file has 21 different templates, uh, some of which are titles for our purposes. When you download this particular file, it's going to come in a zip folder and after you unzip it, you end up with this folder, PB21 Motion Graphics for Premiere. And if you open that up, you get a whole bunch of text templates, a whole bunch of transition templates that I'm not gonna go into, and then a whole bunch of custom fonts. Now, the first thing to be aware of is that to use these text titles, you need to have these custom fonts installed. There's three of them. I've created a separate video already explaining how to install custom fonts. So please do that first. After you do that, you need to put this entire folder, this PB21 motion graphics folder, somewhere where you're going to remember where it is and somewhere where your Premiere Pro project can always access it. So I recommend putting it right next to the project file itself. So I've created a folder called templates and that's where these templates will live. So once you've installed your fonts and put the template somewhere where you're gonna be able to access it and always remember where it is, the next thing is to actually install one of these templates into Premiere Pro. So let's do that. So I'll open up Premiere Pro here and make sure that I'm in my graphics tab and then click on the Essential Graphics tab, click Browse. And these are all the uh, types of graphics templates that are already installed on my computer. There's a lot of them. To install a new one, right down the bottom, there's a button called Install Motion Graphics Template. Click on that and then go and find this folder that you have already placed somewhere that you know where it is PB21 Motion Graphics. Click on that and then in this example, I'm going to install just one of these title templates. There's, there's others there for you to check out if you want. I think for our purposes, this one is the best. It's called Bottom Reveal, simple. And I like simple uh, font styles. So I'm gonna open that up. Now I've already installed this on my computer, so it's coming up saying the file already exists, but for you, you won't get that. So I'm just gonna confirm overwrite, click yes. The next thing is to actually find that template in the essential graphics panel that you've just installed. Um, now, what was it called? I just installed this one, bottom reveal simple. Okay, so I need to find bottom reveal simple. There it is, bottom reveal simple. You click on it and drag it over onto your timeline and basically what it is, is it's a text template that looks like this. It reveals up and then if I press space again, it will disappear down. Now, before I start altering the text and customizing what it looks like, just some things to know about this template. Because we didn't create it ourselves, we have to, um, there's, there's a lot of, uh, circumstance or a lot of boundaries that we have to work around because um, somebody else has created it specifically for their purposes, not for ours. The first is that this title is quite long. If I want to say reduce the length of it like so, um, I still get the reveal at the start, but now at the end, it just turns off. I don't get that uh, uh, slow disappear. 
I'll press Control Z. I don't get that slow disappear. If I want that and I want the start, then I need to just delete the middle part. So I'll click on the razor tool and just snip, snip, delete the middle section of that element and just put it together. So now I should have the start, it's skipping the middle and I'll still have the end. So I'm just gonna press Control Z to get back to the original. Okay, so that's number one. Okay, next thing is how do we make this look nicer for our purposes? Well, if you click on the uh, template itself, you get whatever elements the author decided to include as customization options. And as you can see, there's not many. So we're pretty restricted in what we can do. I can change the text. So I'm gonna change this to welcome to. Um, I can change the color. Uh, for this particular one, I won't. And I can change the, start, the size. So I'll probably leave it about that size. If you want to change the position of where the text is, at the moment it's centered, we can also do that. You need to go over to the effects panel and under position, we have the horizontal and the vertical axis. I'm going to put the horizontal about so and put the vertical about so. Okay, that's about as much customization with this template as you can possibly do. I'm going to create a second version of exactly the same template so I can finish off this sentence. I'll click on browse, I'll go into the bottom reveal again, put a second one on top, alter that second one to paradise. Let's actually give it a color this time. Um, and then I need to probably make it a bit bigger and also align it with my other text. Okay, so I've got two separate text templates here, both appearing exactly the same time. So they should just come up together like so. If I want the paradise text to come in a bit later, I'll just drag it out a bit. And that is a way that you can create very basic text animations using this particular template. Um, Hopefully that gives you something to work with and I'll come back in the next video to explain how to create these kind of animations from scratch.